Today we're going to compare Google's latest model, Gemini 2.5 Flash Nano Banana, it's a mouthful, with ChatGPT. So in my last video, I've created five visually stunning campaign images. It's pretty cool what they could do, the product quality was absolutely amazing, the product recognizability and the consistency was absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to compare it with ChatGPT. What I'll do is I'll throw exactly the same prompts from the Gemini model into ChatGPT and compare the results side by side. I'll do it in a structured way, so I'll show you the prompts, what I've done, and then I'll also show you the results side by side. Let's start with the first one. And here we can see I wanted to get that punch through the wall effect. So I have the image first, the punching through the wall. It's money in this case, but that's what I wanted. I wanted to have the can sort of facing forward. So I had an image of a person holding a can facing forward. And then I have our fizz drink. Then below it, I have the prompt that we used. So we're going to make a campaign image of a hand punching through a wall, holding a fizz can, make the wall dark green. That's also important for the branding. And then we're going to contrast it nicely with the can. Put it in the center of the image and the logo of the can should be visible at all times and no overlap with the hands. And this is what both came up with. So we can see on the left side, we see the Gemini result and on the right side, we see ChatGPT. Now the biggest difference for me is that on the right, the ChatGPT version is a bit too clean and it feels just not real and it feels AI. But if we compare it to the one on the left, the Gemini one, that one feels studio-like. I mean, it's, it's like a picture that I couldn't tell it's AI. So I was pretty amazed with this result. Although the one on the right, the ChatGPT one, is very clean, it's very nice, it's professional, but it's a bit too perfect that it's back again at AI, I think. So the one on the left for me wins with Gemini. So I was absolutely amazed. But both of them have quite good product consistency in this case. And let's move to number two. And here I wanted to have something special. So I wanted to have like a pile of lime. So this one is lemons on the left for reference. And then in the middle, I drawn it myself. So what I've done is I've drawn like a, a pile of lime with the hand sticking out holding that fist drink. And on the right, I have the fist drink. And then the prompt I said, make a professional grade campaign image, nine by 16 ratio with the hand holding the fist drink. The logo still visible, again, to just not have that overlap, coming out of a lime pile. Fresh green limes, solid green studio background in hex, and then just specify the hex code for the brand if we want. And the fist drink should be in the center of you. And then it gave us these results. So on the left, we can see Gemini again, and on the right, ChatGPT. Now, the one that stands out for me, the one on the right, ChatGPT is a bit more brighter, so those colors are a bit more correct. But on the left one, again, that is super realistic. The one on the right, product consistency, quite good. A little bit too, too perfect, too polished, so it looks fake again. But on the left, I think this could be a very realistic image. If I had to do a campaign image myself, it would probably be more like the one on the left from Gemini. So that one looks very realistic. Also, if I look at the cans itself, it's a small difference. They're quite consistent, but the one from ChatGPT looks a bit elongated. So it looks a bit longer than the one in reality. But again, that's just a small thing that could be tweaked. It's not some. It's not a deal breaker, I would say. But I'm a bit on the fence with this one. I think Gemini goes for realism. I would spice up the colors a little bit, brighten them up, make them more vibrant. But overall, I like them both. Now let's move to the third one where we have the fizz drink. And I noticed this one here on the right. So the, the, the squeezing of the grapefruit on top of the can, I thought that was really fantastic. So I wanted to do something with that just as a trial. And the prompt I've used is a line being squeezed above the fizz soda can, studio background, vibrant green studio lighting. So I kept the prompt very simple. So this gave us these results. And here, I think the difference is becoming very clear. So on the left, we have Gemini, which looks very realistic again. And on the right, we see the ChatGPT version with, again, this very bright, bold colors. So in color terms, it's staying very consistent. But for me, the details are a bit better on the Gemini side. So we can see the lemon being squeezed. We see those curves in that lemon itself. On the right, we see like a half a lemon, a lot of juice coming out, but it's not being squeezed, so it's not very realistic. And also on the left, we see that spill over that lime juice dripping over the cans. So that is absolutely fantastic and super realistic. The colors again, that is not a deal breaker. On the Gemini, we can make it a bit more vibrant if we need it. I think it's oversaturated on, on ChatGPT version, it wants to make it too much. So I would go for the left one here on Gemini as well. And an extra thing I want to mention here is that the fizz can is starting to change. So we see the drink can on the ChatGPT side, it's shrinking. So we're diverting away from the 
product. While on the left side Gemini model, it really sticks to the original one. So that is a very important one, especially if you work for a brand or with a brand and you need that exact product. Let's move to the next one, which is going to be a balancing. So I saw this image online from Lovecorn, which looked absolutely fantastic. It's like balancing the product on the finger defying gravity a little bit and wanted to do that with the fist ring. So for the prompt I used, can you make this image with fist scans balancing on a fingertip? Studio background, green again. So nothing fancy here, but it gave this result. And here I think Gemini just does what you ask it to do. So if you give it a prompt with some reference images, it comes pretty close. The one on ChatGPT, it sort of freestyles a little bit more and it just stacks them up entirely. So it doesn't really look at the reference picture that much and it kind of does its own thing. Also the finger in ChatGPT, it's almost hidden. It's, it's almost gone, so it's sort of missing the effect. While on the left side, it's a bit more visually intriguing. It has some balance to it. It has some depth to it, some dynamics, and that's what I want. Maybe I would give it a couple of more runs since we see that top can not being stacked in a very realistic way or the way the can stack isn't entirely realistic. But again, it's a minor tweak. If we run it two or three more times, I think we can get to a pretty cool result. So let's move to the next one where we have the most creative effect where we have a can and I wanted to have it in the mountain. So I want to have like a, a surreal image of a mega huge can in the mountain somewhere. So on the prompt, I asked it to design a enormous fizz can resembling an ancient mega artifact frozen in a snowy mountain. So I really wanted to go crazy here. It should be awe inspiring, partially buried in rocks with clear branding. Use dramatic cold blue tones for the mountain and vibrant yellow green for the can for contrast. And this is what it came up with for both, which is pretty cool. I think left, of course, looks more like the result we wanted. And on the right, we can see it, it sort of missed the point a little bit. The colors I think are nicer on the right, but it sort of missed the point of, of integrating it in the mountain. So here the, the picture itself, the picture quality left definitely or Gemini definitely. But I think we could learn from the colors for ChatGPT here and sort of mix it around a little bit. I tried to run it another time to sort of give them both an extra try where I tilted the can a little bit. So this was the result that they came up with. And here I think ChatGPT does absolutely fantastic. So that's the effect that I want. I want it really buried in that rock. So here it goes really well and it does a fantastic job. On the left, I think the Gemini model also does a pretty cool effect. So it's working, both are working very well, but here I would say ChatGPT does a little bit better or comes closer to the result that I want. So overall, I'm very happy with both results. I think they both did fantastic. Here I would say Gemini won like four out of the five times and ChatGPT really won the last one. So I'm curious to hear what you think, what style do you prefer? Have you tried it yourself? And if you want to learn how to do this step by step, I've also made a tutorial about those campaign images. You can find them right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.